Meanwhile, New Mexico State looking for win number two, trying to get hot. They knocked off South Carolina State last week, hosting Hawaii on homecoming in Las Cruces. The storyline coming in, third string walk-on quarterback Dino Maldonado. The young man led the team to their most points than they'd ever had all season last year in just the first half alone. You'd think maybe ride with him in the hot hand under center if you're the Aggies, but Doug Martin Excellent. opting to start the week one starter. That's Jonah Johnson returning from injury. Out of the gate, Johnson here with his team trailing. 10-3. That looks like an incomplete pass, but you play to the whistle. Technically, that goes down as a backwards pass, and it's ruled a fumble, picked up by the Rainbow Warriors. Score that one a touchdown. Football history lesson there for you. So it's an early 14-point deficit for New Mexico State. But the Aggies' defense fighting back in a major way. Lama Lavea, the Chapin graduate, knocks the ball free, and Cyrus Dumas pounces on it for NMSU. Back the other way, Aggies would have loved a touchdown here to tie it up. Biscuit in the basket, but Isaiah Garcia Castaneda couldn't hang on. NMSU would have to settle for a field goal so they wouldn't be able to tie the ball game. Back the other way, Hawaii, again, the defense for NMSU coming through, and again, it's that man Cyrus Dumas. I think a star might be born in the NMSU secondary there. He comes up with the interception. Aggies couldn't score back the other way. They'd go to the halftime period with the same score. In the second half, though, Johnson. This is when things started to get away right here. Strip sacked in the pocket. Ball's free. Hawaii pounces on it. They'd score a touchdown off that turnover and then get the ball right back on the ensuing possession. You see 24-13. This is just tough buckets here on this run from Calvin Turner Jr. What's my third favorite Will Smith song? That'd be Switch. Calvin Turner into the end zone for the touchdown. This thing got really out of hand there towards the end of that third quarter. That strip sack fumble, as I mentioned from Johnson, is, uh, is what marked the spot. Final score in this one. Let's go ahead and pull it up. 41-21. Hawaii gets the victory over New Mexico State as the Aggies fall to 1-4. and four. They now hit the road for three straight starting next Saturday at San Jose State. After the ball game, head coach Doug Martin on that quarterback situation. It all came down not necessarily to the play of the quarterback, but another factor. Take a listen. It's offensive line. We've got to play better up front. You know, we're, we're several times we just gave up you know, too much pressure is too fast. Uh, I think there's only one time they brought a, an all-out blitz, brought everybody where we didn't have enough to block it, and he's got to get rid of the ball. But uh, other than that, it's, it's really our offensive line's got to play better.